history of Microsoft. The year was 1979. Margaret Thatcher was the first woman to be elected to Prime Minister in Britain. The Seattle Supersonics won the NBA championship, and Sony introduced the first portable Walkman. But music wasn't the only thing on the move. On January 1st, 1979, Microsoft relocated from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and headed closer to home for Bill Gates and Paul Allen to Bellevue, Washington. Now, while Microsoft settles into their new place, they're still busy building, and on March 12th, they announced an M6800 version of BASIC. Less than one month later, on April 4th, the 8080 version of Microsoft BASIC is the very first microprocessor software product to win the ICP Million Dollar Award. But there's little time to stop and celebrate. Microsoft BASIC currently in use in over 200,000 Z80 and 8080 installations has just been released in a new version for the 8086 16-bit microprocessor. Well, the key to the, the move to the business market was getting a machine with more capability and getting a uh, standard. Um, although you could exchange some basic programs between these 8-bit machines, uh, if you went and used any of the advanced features, uh, then you were just tied to that one machine. So it wasn't all that economical to write lots of software for these machines. And the 8-bit the machines maxed out at 64K of memory. And even though, you know, when I wrote BASIC in 4K, 64K seemed like a lot, as we started taking on more and more challenges, it just wasn't going to be enough. And since we were tracking what Intel was doing uh, very closely and building the next generation chip, their 8086 family, including the very low cost part called the 8088, we knew that 16-bit computing was on its way. And we saw that it could be a, a good business machine. And we decided to focus a lot of early work on that, that Intel chip. In fact, it was that decision that forced, forced us to do the soft card, because we had so many products for the Intel chip. And the question was, should we spread those products over to other 8-bit chips, like the 6502 that runs in here? Or should we immediately move up and do 16-bit software? And I said, no, we're going to do 16-bit software. Everybody was a little bit disappointed because it meant we wouldn't be able to sell onto these machines. And that's when Paul invented the idea of, of the soft card so that we could actually take our, our Intel software and run it on this machine and at the same time go ahead and devote our resources to being way ahead of everybody else in developing uh, software for the 8086. Continuing with the momentum, that August, Microsoft announced the availability of Microsoft Basic Compiler for 8080 and Z80 CPM systems. Now, Microsoft isn't the only tech company making news in 1979. Visical, with the first electronic spreadsheet program, debuts at the West Coast Computer Fair. And the first compact disks are created by Sony in Japan and Philips in the Netherlands, thanks to joint licensing. Now, as Microsoft enters the holidays, they begin to make more international news. On November 29, 1979, Microsoft expanded the European market by opening a new representative, Vector Microsoft, located in Belgium. One month later, on December 1st, the most powerful BASIC written for the TRS-80, Level 3 BASIC, was introduced by Microsoft Consumer Products, their new consumer software development and marketing division. It was the year 1979. Convicted felon Patty Hearst was released from prison, thanks to Jimmy Carter, and at Microsoft, all the work and risks were paying off. Now, with 28 employees, Microsoft ended the year 1979 with sales exceeding $2 million. Now, with a new home, an ICP Million Dollar Award, and a handful of new talent, Microsoft prepares to enter the new decade and plans on proving that it's here to stay.